Hi guys, bonjour tout le monde. Comment ça va? J'espère que ça va bien. I'll wait for some of you. Anyone there? Hi, Michelle. We'll wait for a few more people. Hi, Antonia. Thought you were supposed to be here. Unless you're watching us from the car, which is always possible too. So, bonjour tout le monde. Oh, I might have come up with an idea of something that I can potentially demo. Maybe, maybe. Because everything I wanted to demo, I realized that we have none left in the store. Great demos, right? Si tu peux pas les acheter après. Donc, bonjour tout le monde. So, we will open our calendar. And uh, like I said, I was thinking of some demos I could do. And then each one I thought of, uh, I'm missing product for. So we are going to wait. Um, Jeanne, as-tu vu la mienne? Bonjour, j'ai trouvé mon calendrier. Youpi! <laughs> oh, you're funny, Karen. It's okay. Hier, Chantal, quand elle a ouvert son calendrier, puis elle a dit que elle a bien ouvert la porte 1, mais elle avait pas le calendrier que nous autres en l'avait. C'est à cause qu'il y avait une erreur dans son calendrier, puis elle avait deux plaques de qu'est-ce qui est dans la deuxième batch de notre calendrier. Donc elle avait deux deux, deux de la même. So she had whatever on the right side of the calendar. She had two sheets of that in her calendar. So she didn't have what we had. So poor her. She's, <laughs> she thought she was going crazy. Yes, it was a nice surprise star. It was, it was really, really nice. So there are, oh, I could also do the transfer me's, huh? I could. I could also do the transfer me's. Didn't think of that. Um, yes. So I have been watching Simon Hurley all day. Why, you ask? Because there are different things of different products of his that I have started really, really liking. Now, you guys know I like his stamping foam probably more than you guys do, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, so I've been watching his video with his stamping foam. So I think we're going to play with that a little bit today. Um, and then I also wanted to talk to you about some of his peel apart stamps. So I am going to grab his trees. I'm going to try grab his flowers. And I am going to grab that. And then I'm going to grab this. And maybe even this and that. Did I grab the other stencil? No. Okay. And this. Boy, guys, I've just grabbed a bunch of Simon Hurley stuff. And Karen and I are going to sneak it to the back. And we're not going to show Jay, okay? So this is between us. Tout le monde, c'est entre nous. L'autre chose que je viens de découvrir, c'est le papier de Simon Hurley. Okay, c'est le papier de Simon Hurley. Parce que il a utilisé ça avec ses encres, puis il est vraiment blanc. Mais aussi, ça prend l'encre très, très, très bien. Tu sais, Marise, le semaine, il... Oh, 
Jay est juste là, donc je vais couvrir mon stash. OK. Et la semaine vient juste pas de finir pour moi parce qu'on a toujours des autres choses à faire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Facebook for us. Facebook, Facebook, where are you? Je vais trouver Facebook. Je vais trouver notre vidéo live en direct. And I am going to turn it on and then turn off the sound quickly. Yeah, There it is. To... Turn that off. Okay, so now we are silent. Then I'm going to move that out of the way. I can't believe I spent all this time trying to think, what am I going to do with you guys? And then at 4.05 or 4.08 is when I realize what I'm going to do. Isn't that typical of me? So, you guys are going there for a minute. All right. I think we can see my mess. Okay. We're good. We've got Simon's foam. We've got that. You know what I need? I need a bunch of inks. So I'm going to reach up here where I just have a bunch of colors of Distress Ink. I don't have Simon's inks handy and I don't have them in stock. But the good news is, and again, je veux pas dire ça à Jay, because it's the end of the year. I'm not supposed to be bringing in new stuff, right? We're supposed to be clearing out for inventory. But I think I fell in love. I watched too much Simon today and I fell in love with his colors of ink. So I think I'll be getting, oh, Marie's, I'm, I cleaned the part here, okay? The rest of the mess is very well hidden. Um, so yeah, I think I might be getting his inks in. So there's that. Um, we've talked about his lunar paste. I am going to do a video with his lunar pastes when I get more colors back in stock. Okay, so I will do that. Um, I had the black embossed cardstock. I had one piece left of this. So I might try something with that in a little while. All right. And I need one more package of this. And we can start. So, I'm not sure that I'm going to get through all of this because just the stamping foam alone is going to be a few great techniques. So, I am going to show you stamping foam. It's pour avoir quatre blocs, um, trois fois quatre et quart, une quart. Ou tu peux avoir deux blocs, 4.5 x 5.75. All right, so this is a little bit bigger than your A2 so that you can do a full background. And this is enough to do just the center of a card, which you end up with just the rectangle in the middle and all this beautiful white space, okay? So two different sizes, both great. What is stamping foam? It's literally, c'est un mousse très dense, okay? Donc, on peut faire plein de choses avec. And I know I have some open, but I don't even know where they are anymore. Let me see. Yeah, they've been filed. So, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you the most basic thing we can do with stamping foam basic basic and that would be just inking it up okay so i am going to pick a few colors candied apple for some reason i have two of them here mm, we'll put lumberjack plaid we'll put oh not evergreen plaid we will put maybe some saltwater taffy And some sponge sugar. Nope. 
I think I'm going to put picked res. No, saltwater taffy. Okay. So we're just going to end up with a variation of pinks and reds. So I'm just going to take my ink. Je vais le prendre mon encre. Puis je vais le frotter sur mon foam. Okay. Donc ça, ça prend pas beaucoup. Mais je vais le mettre sur mon foam. Maintenant, j'utilise les encres, pas les oxydes. Probablement, ça va être plus facile avec mes oxydes. Oh, I'm sorry, Kathy. Well, blame, blame Tim. He comes up with the names of these. Now, Lumberjack really should have gone first because I forgot it is the darker or the redder one, but we'll see. Okay. Donc, je mets mon deuxième couleur. Okay. Now, if you want to blend out lines, my friend Simon takes an, a, um, a blending tool at the end and he blends them out. Okay. Parce que aujourd'hui, j'ai devenu très bien bonnes amies avec Simon, I think. Parce que j'ai regardé plein de ses vidéos. Then I'm going to go with saltwater taffy, which is un peu comme corail, mais pâle. And I wasn't sure if I liked this color. And after doing all those techniques I showed you on the boss on bossing folders, après avoir fait toutes les techniques que j'ai uh, fait sur les plioirs de gaufrage, j'ai trouvé une nou nouveau admiration pour saltwater taffy. And then I'm going to use the pink, which is spun sugar. Okay, celui-là est vraiment pâle. Donc je frotte plus fort, même je sais pas si la mienne est sec. Also, I don't know if mine is dry. So I'm just gonna... Okay. Et la raison que je le frotte est pour pas avoir trop de lignes. Comme si je fais comme ça, dab, dab, dab. Donc, je le frotte. Now, I'm just going to take a blending tool of some sort. I'm going to take my reds, okay? And I'm just going to blend some of those colors together. Um, Jay, do you see my paper towel, please? And... That's to come out. All right. Donc, avec un, un pinceau blending, moi, j'aime garder un, un essuie-tout juste pour enlever un peu de la couleur foncée si je veux aller dans mes couleurs plus pâles. OK? So, now, I've just kind of blended it a little. We'll see how well that works. And then I'm going to take some water. I'm going to use my big Bertha bottle. A. I'm putting a couple of sprays of it. Okay? Mais tu vois, j'ai fait un mist. Can you see that? It's a mist. C'est pas des gouttes de rouge. J'ai fait une mist sur mon, uh, mon foam. And then, I'm probably not going to get it as nicely in the middle as I would like, but... And I'm going to put the darker color on top. Je vais le faire. Et je l'étampe. Now, this isn't on Simon's paper yet. Because it wasn't pre-cut. So, I don't think I'll be able to use Simon's paper right away. But now I'm stamping down just all this color. Okay? Puis, je vais le laisser sécher. Si j'aimais, j'aimerais, je peux faire une deuxième couche. Mais maintenant, j'ai un fond fait aquarelle. All right? And you could see that my pink really wasn't very dark. So, would I be able to go on and put some more? I would have to get it in the exact same spot. What are the chances of that? Probably slim and none. Je peux l'essayer parce que au moins ça va vous faire rire si je le me trompe. 
So I'm going to try because the worst it could do is make you guys laugh. And then at least we laugh before the weekend. Yes, I do have a mister of water. Or I have a Mr. J. Oh, Kathy, people are saying hi, J. Hello, he says. So I'm going to go back over that with a little bit of more water. But I'll tell you, Simon, our friend Simon, he absolutely adores that very broken up look like that. So right away, you have a background. And then you can build on top of there when it's dry. Okay, donc laissez sécher. And I know my friend Joanne is cringing at the color of my hands. She's like, look at those dirty hands. But that's okay. I am now just going to use some water or a wipe and just wipe the ink off of the sponge or the foam. And for that one, I'm going to use more concentrated. Just pour l'enlever l'excès de l'encre. Okay? So that's one thing you can do. You can just build um, up your own kind of couleur dégradé ou un scène comme a horizon, si vous voulez. Vous pouvez faire ça avec le carré comme ça. Même que vous pouvez faire avec un uh, pochoir rectangle. So you could also do that if you have a cut out rectangle stencil. But what's the point of the foam? Okay, so why are we doing the foam? So let's say we have a stencil. Let's see if I have a stencil somewhere. Je ne sais même pas si j'ai un pochoir disponible, mais je vais essayer d'en trouver un. So let's see if I can find a stencil in my mess. All right. So I have a stencil ready. I am going to heat this. Not the stencil. We don't want to warp, melt the stencil. And I'll do this side. Donc, je vais chauffer ça pour une 15 à 30 secondes. So you heat up this foam for about 15 to 30 seconds. You have your stencil close by, ready. All right, so this is probably heated enough. C'est probablement assez chaud. Je vais le prendre, puis je vais le mettre par-dessus de mon dessin, puis je pèse dessus. Okay. Yes, Joanne, I'm getting dirty again. Oh, I didn't heat it up enough on this side, so je vais le faire une autre fois, mais cela exactement qu'est-ce qui va arriver? Je vais avoir l'impression de la pochoir. So, si j'aime pas ce que j'ai fait, je vais aller ajouter de la chaleur encore, puis garde qu'est-ce qui arrive. So you can see that this is reusable because I didn't like what I did. So I heat it up. Je le chauffe encore. Puis voilà, mon dessin est disparu. So now I'm going to heat it again. Je vais chauffer un petit peu plus long parce que peut-être j'ai pas fait toute la surface. Maybe I didn't do the whole surface. All right, now I think I'm good. 
and I'm going on there again. I'm going to hold it down. I'm trying to put it the same amount of weight on both sides. And voila. So that's what I have now on my stamp. Now, je peux l'ancrer juste comme tel, ou je peux même prendre un brayer pour l'ancrer. So, let's say I wanted to take a brayer and ink it. I'm just going to, for the ease of things, I'm just going to use the colors that I have in front of me. So, what do I have here that's one of the newer colors as well? Oh, I have Villainous Potion, which of course is a purple. And I'm just going to ink up my brayer. Now, keep in mind, quand vous mettez de l'encre sur un brayer, si vous continuez à juste faire comme ça, tu ne vas jamais avoir de l'encre partout. Il faut que tu le prennes. Where's my plastic thing? That's going to make my life easier. Hang on, guys. Why am I making my life so difficult when I have... Ha! I'm like, why is this thing moving on me? Well, because I didn't put down my silicone thing. This is a perfect example of when to use this. Right? Ça, ça vient de waffle flour. And if I put this down on top of there, then I don't have to worry about holding it to ink it. Ta-da! So now I can go back and I can go forward and it's not going to move. All right, so now I'm trying to get the ink as much as I can on my brayer, and I'm just gonna, whoops, brayer over the top. Now, if that's not quick enough for you, or if you're finding it's transferring somewhere else, vous pouvez juste prendre tout le pad, le tampon d'encre, comme vous voulez, puis vous pouvez juste faire comme ça aussi. So that's really up to you, how you like to put your ink on. Some people like to brayer. Some people just put it directly on. Okay. And I'm just going to put it on like that. And maybe if I rub it a little bit also, it's going to be darker. Ça va être plus foncé sur la portion sous-élevé. Okay. Okay. Donc, voila. So that's what's beautiful about this. Where did I put my papers? Voila. An old papier about this foam. So now I have whatever design I have here. I can spray my water again. Puis encore, je fais une mist. J'ai fait un mist, un peu plus qu'une mist. Puis je vais les tamper. You do not have to spray it. Il ne faut pas mettre un spray dessus. Moi, je, je l'aime parce que s'il si y a un peu qui est déjà sec, un peu d'encre qui est déjà sec, je sais que ça va transférer quand même. Yes, Simon does swirl his ink. His pads are a little different than, oops, I lost my design because I put too much water. All right, guys, we're going to do that again on the other side. J'ai mis trop d'eau, donc j'ai perdu mon dessin. So I'm just going to do it on the other side. There's no tragedy here. Okay. I used my big Bertha and she put just a little bit too much water on for us. Okay. We'll swirl like Simon does. 
and we're going to stamp again. And this time I didn't add any extra water. Okay, so there's no extra water. I'm just giving a little CPR here to the stamp. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Donc, vous pouvez prendre n'importe quel de vos pochoirs puis faire une étampe de ça. Imagine, après ça, vous pouvez même faire découper des lettres ou de n'importe quoi de cette image. All right? So, that comes out beautifully. So, that's the second way to use it. Now, the other way which I have to look around for a, where would I have one? Let's say, I should have one here. Give me one second. I know what I'm looking for, but I don't have one here. Okay. I am going to pull out my AirPods, so I could take you guys with me as I go to pick out. Est-ce que vous m'entendez encore? Oui, no? Do you guys still hear me? A thumbs up, anything? Okay, merci. Okay, je vais aller chercher juste un matrice. Je vais vous montrer quelque chose d'autre qu'on peut faire avec notre foam. Donc, j'ai pris le matrice qui s'appelle Hexagon Tile. Et c'est une qui coupe pas, qui fait plus le dessin. It does more the design in the um, in the stamp than the back, than doing the actual background. Okay, you can do this with any kind of background. So let's clean this off. Big Bertha comes in handy here because she puts a lot of water. There we go. Donc, vous avez le choix à ce moment-là. Vous pouvez garder votre éponge comme ça. Si ça, c'est une de vos préférées, tu l'aimes tellement, tu le gardes. Mais si tu dis, OK, j'ai étampé trois, quatre fois, puis maintenant, j'ai plus besoin de cette dessin, tu le rechauffes, puis ça devient plat encore. So, if you no longer need this, then what you can do is reheat it and it'll become flat again, okay? And then you'll just use it the next time you want to heat something up and try it again. All right? So, easy to clean up with just water. Maintenant, je vais ajouter mon chaleur. J'ai plus besoin de le dessin. So I'm going to heat that up. And I think for this one, I'm going to show you the bigger one. Because I'm sure most of you, like me, have the smaller ones. And I like that they come now. Il vient dans un paquet um, comme un Ziploc. So we're going to reheat that. Okay. Donc, comme tu vois, ça va aller plat encore. On voit l'image, mais il n'est plus là. So you can see a little bit of the design, but it is flat again. Sorry if I'm yelling. I forgot that I had my 
get your AirPods on or whatever they're called. OK, donc maintenant, ce que je trouve avec les plus larges sont un peu plus durs à garder chaud tout le temps. OK? So it's going to be a little bit harder to keep this whole thing warm. All right. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try and still keep this warm. I'm going to get my dye ready. Et je sais que mon dye est plus petit que le foam, mais juste un petit peu. All right, and I'm going to put this in the middle. And I'm going to press down. And hopefully it works the way I want it to work. Okay, ça c'est la première essai pour moi avec cette dye là. Je l'ai ouvert en avant de vous autres. Ah, j'ai pas tout eu l'impression, mais a fade out is also nice. So let's see what that's going to look like. Parce que des fois, on veut que quelque chose qui fades at the edge. Mais vous pouvez le chauffer plus lentement. Or with the, um, with the wow heat tool, that might heat it better. Souvent, quand quelque chose est plus gros comme ça, au lieu de le prendre puis étamper, je laisse comme ça, je mets mon encre, puis je vais amener mon papier sur le dessus. So, I'm going to pick another color. I'm going to do saltwater taffy on this one. Okay. And let's see what we end up with here. Okay. So, again, swirling or swishing the ink. You don't have hard edges. Et je peux laisser l'encre comme ça ou je peux ajouter juste un petit peu d'eau. Again, you wouldn't want to add too much ink because you will lose the definition of the stamp. OK. Et oublie pas que le papier est plus petit que les tampes. Now, if you have your stampendable tool, you could use that over the top of this or a brayer. I'm going to use my dirty brayer. Okay. Pour avoir mon impression. And of course, I did mine crooked, as everybody would expect from me. Okay. And I'll still give it CPR. That's good. Et voilà. So you can see where I brayered. Donc, tu peux faire ça avec n'importe quelle étampe que vous l'avez. Ou matrice. Okay? So like if I did this with the smaller one, we might have had better luck. Let's see. Or my other heat tool. Let me try the other heat tool. If I can get it out of its holder, voila. I know this one makes more noise. Sorry, guys.
So you see it went a bit deeper, although I missed the side here, but it went deeper in there. So it's just a matter of how quick you take your stamp to your piece. And then you can get to see that quick transfer. Lumberjack plaid oxide. I think that sounds good for this one. Okay, ça c'est le oxide. Voilà. Parfait. Je prends un autre papier. And I can see that I missed a spot with the ink. J'ai manqué un place. CPR. One, two, three. One, two, three. Voila. Okay, so you can see your impression. Not as thrilled with the oxide. I think it was too dry. I think it needed a little bit of water. Je vais essayer. Okay. Try it again with my CPR. Ah, that's much better. Donc, après quelques essais, on sait exactement combien de force à mettre. So, these foams, you can use to mold anything in your house. If you, there's a pattern that you love, you just heat it up and you can mold it. So, that's what's great about these foams. And yes, if you guys don't have a big Bertha, she gives you a nice long mist. We still have some of these in stock too. They are quite popular. I think somebody used it on Maker Mania and that was it. Everybody wanted one. I think it was Courtney. Sorry for the squeaking. Sorry. Mais je veux être certaine que c'est bien nettoyé. Okay, so that's how you use Simon's foams. Very simple, but fun, easy to use. He has circles, he has squares. Ils ont des différentes formes pour faire les différents dessins. Okay, so simple, just good to know. This product has been around for quite a while. Um, people used it many, many years ago and then it disappeared. And uh, then Simon brought it back and people have been loving it. So he's brought out a bunch of different shapes. All right, now I'm worried that I don't have a green color here because the next thing I wanna show you, we need green. All right, just gonna clear this away. Give that to Jay so he can take it out of stock. All right. The next thing I want to show you is Simon's Peel Apart Stamps. All right, so one thing he did with his trees. Donc, ceux-là ici, vous pouvez utiliser au complet ou séparément. Okay, donc ce qu'il fait, il fait que vous pouvez faire un fond au complet. OK? Donc, on peut prendre un beau vert. Je pense pas d'avoir un vert ici. I have evergreen bow. I can do that. OK? We can take evergreen bow. Mettre dessus. Encore. Je vais le frotter. Un beau vert. Ça, c'est comme un vert bleu. Oh, we don't have much time now because we got to open our calendars. 
Okay. So there we've got that going. Now I'm going to put a piece down. I'm going to take my brayer again. Ça me dérange pas qu'il y ait des couleurs dessus as long as I got my beautiful trees. So right there, beautiful stamp. And look at all, because I wasn't perfect about putting my ink on, you have texture in the trees. All perfect, okay? All planned, believe it or not. Make. Ça, ça, si on veut utiliser comme une fond. Mais des fois, on veut pas une fond des arbres, on veut juste une ligne des arbres. Donc, si on prend ink 1, on peut faire horizontal ou uh, vertical. Pas de problème. With a stamping platform, which mine has disappeared. So, if any of you have seen it, please let me know. So for now, I'm going to have to use a block. Okay. So I am going to just put it on like this. I'm going to take evergreen bow again. Et je préfère une bande des arbres où je le veux. Okay. Et peut-être je veux en le diagonal, mais je préfère juste une bande des arbres Pas de problème. Et voilà. Peut-être j'en veux un mini forêt. So maybe I want like a little mini forest. I could mask over that. Or I could just do a little bit to the side of it. Like that. Okay. Again. And you could keep going, okay? Et si j'ai masqué, tu vas pas voir the overlap. You wouldn't see the overlap. So also can be done. The other thing that's cool about these line stamps in an étamp en ligne est que on peut faire une montagne. Donc c'est à nous de dessiner notre montagne. Donc, je peux faire encore, I could do it on, I could do it on here, une montagne des, des arbres. This is a pretty color, Evergreen Bow, eh? I don't know if I've ever used it just on its own. Je sais pas si j'ai utilisé juste seul comme ça. So, again, you could have a mountain of trees going. because people are skiing down the mountain, okay? So again, you could just do a couple of rows of trees and form your mountain. I think I missed over here. Donc voilà, une montagne. Maintenant, je vais essayer de not overlap the trees, voilà. Puis faire comme ça, une deuxième rangée. So the only thing I'm doing is I'm lining them up in between the trees. Okay. And so now I've got a mountain going. And if I wanted to, une autre chose que je peux faire, parce que c'est à moi de placer mon étampe, I could also make a fancy mountain. So I could bring it down and, wait a minute, I know I saw Simon do it, so I know it's doable. Bring it back this way so that it's not completely on the slant. So imagine si je fais une carte verticale, Facilement, 
Boy, I'm getting lazy with my inking, I think. Mais facilement, j'ai une montagne d'arbres verticale. And if I wanted there, let's say this was a ski slope. Et j'ai vu le des autres montagnes, mais plus haut ici. Je peux toujours faire ça. Je peux changer l'angle de mes arbres. Et je peux faire ça. Donc, je peux aller juste en haut ici, puis faire juste un petit peu des arbres pour avoir une deuxième montagne. You know, sometimes you see down a ski hill, that's where they would be skiing. So you've got the, or tobogganing, something like that. So now you've got the in-between. Et même dans cette batch détente, il y en a des arbres seuls. Donc je peux simplement enlever ça. Et je peux simplement trouver les trois arbres. Je sais qu'il y en a trois. La deuxième est là. Puis la troisième est là. Puis je peux faire une carte très simple. Or an ATC card. Hmm, I wonder if I have an ATC at hand close by. Mais je peux mettre mes arbres plus proches. And probably not straight. Mais je peux faire juste un petit sem au centre d'une carte. Avec un petit souhait en dessous et peut-être trois petites étoiles par-dessus. So I could also just take that and make a few trees smack in the middle of a card and just have a sentiment underneath, any old sentiment. I'm sure I have sentiments around here somewhere. Ou sur, comme j'ai dit, sur un ATC. And then it's a puzzle. So then you go back to your, whoops. You turn it over the right way, and you put your puzzle pieces back in. Donc, vraiment, vraiment, pas difficile à utiliser. Et tout de suite, Simon suggère de tout de suite, quand vous faites un angle, right after you do put your stamp in a, um, on an angle, you straighten it out right away so that when you put it back, it'll fit in beautifully, which it does. So that was a mini demo showing you these. Tomorrow, I will add to this. I will get a sentiment. I will re-stamp them probably because they're crooked, but hey, if, it, if it's not cricket, c'est pas la mienne. Le mienne. I will challenge myself to finish up some of these as cards, okay? So I will try and do that if it's not crazy here tomorrow. But we've got this. So I just wanted to show you what a peel apart means, okay? Donc, il est plein de modèles de peel apart. Pour Noël, il a aussi celle-ci qui fait les poinsettia, que je l'aime tellement. Ça s'appelle Bold Holiday Blooms. Les arbres, ils s'appellent Evergreens. Evergreens. Il a um, Berries and Branches. Donc les branches et les baies. Et si vous avez jamais vu ceux-là, Étampé brun sur du craft. It's incredible. If you've never seen this, imagine this stamped in brown or in antique linen on craft. 
it is beautiful okay just so that you know it is magnificent the other thing I want to show you maybe tomorrow we'll see is this stencil trust me when I tell you that this stencil is beautiful when you use it one stencil alone or two or three together so don't wait this one's called dazzling diamonds il est fantastique okay donc on revient à simon demain pour le moment c'est le temps de ouvrir nos calendriers pour pas vous garder ici trop tard but now we have to put this aside and open our calendars so that I don't keep you guys here too late because it's Friday night, vendredi, and I know everybody is hungry and tired et veut commencer leur fin de semaine. Ou peut-être venir me visiter. Or maybe some of you are just waiting for me to finish the video so you can come visit me. So you just never know. So I want to make it available for you. See how easy the silicone cleans up as well? So love that. Those are also available under waffle flour. Puis on l'a pour les carrés, on a pour les ronds. Uh, puis on a aussi pour les mini ink. Okay? So. All right. And we'd love you too, Nance. All right, which calendar first? Yesterday we started with Art by Marlene, so today we're starting with Spellbinders. Now, I ch remember when I did this, the post boxes yesterday? I forgot to show you that this also opens, for those of you who didn't try it. It's so cute. So cute. This little piece opens. Oh, very cute. Donc ça, c'était Spellbinders de hier. Oh, et oui, ça c'est un stencil pour ceux qui veulent savoir le pochoir que j'ai utilisé en premier. C'est un pochoir de Ciao Bella. Tu vas le trouver dans les Ciao Bella. All right. Now, on cherche le numéro 2. Voilà, je l'ai trouvé. I found it. Are you guys ready? Three. Two, one, let's go. Because I know you guys have a lag, so I wait an extra two seconds. Okay. On va l'ouvrir. Oh, oh, I found it. So this is a beautiful stamp set. A floral stamp that calls for an acrylic block that calls for an acrylic block let's get one of those out and oh j'ai oublié de mentionner quand Simon a fait son démonstration avec le foam il a aussi attaché son foam à un bloc acrylique pour étamper just avec un tape temporaire. So, I'm assuming that this is supposed to make some sort of bouquet because of the shape of the flower. It seems to go around somewhere. Hmm. You guys know me, I'm not the creative one. It should be one of you guys here doing this. Hmm. It doesn't get close enough over here, but maybe there. Then where can we put a little branch sticking out? Let's try over here. All right, I'm just trying. Just say and one more little branch mm, i think that's going to be too far away so i think i'm going to need to stamp that separate all right donc au moment je vais l'étamper ça 
So we are going to use lumberjack plaid potentially. Lumberjack plaid for the flower. Yeah, we can do lumberjack plaid for the, no, we're gonna do lighter for the flower. On va faire, pour la fleur, je fais saltwater taffy. Donc, je vais mettre mon encre. Puis, avec un essuie-tout, with a little piece of paper towel, I'm going to take, now, I see that the ink is making little pilling up on my stamp. I'm going to put the branch after. So um, the good thing to do at that point is to condition it with an Altenew conditioner or um, not a paper towel, but I'm doing this just because I don't have the other stuff available. Ou un efface and gum blanc. Okay? Just to get it ready to accept the ink. Donc, je vais le refaire, remettre mon encre. OK. So. Je vais l'essayer un petit peu de l'encre. J'ai enlevé de mon, mon feuille. Et pour le feuille, je vais le mettre mon Evergreen Bow encore, juste parce que c'est facile. Si je le trouve, il est là. Et on va étamper juste cette petite étampe. Puis on va voir. So let's just do a quick stamp up of this and see what we end up with. Okay. So we're just going to stamp that up quickly. Now, that's why you can't put them together right away, okay? So, we are going to redo that. We are going to stamp this, okay? So, I did that one. It usually gets fuller when it dries. Quand c'est sèche, ça devient plus plein. Mais comme j'ai dit, si vous faites la conditionnement de votre étampe, ça va faire, ça va prendre l'encre beaucoup plus facile. And that's because I'm using a dye-based ink. So now I can do this flower close. So that's why they did those shapes like that. See, I can do it closer. I could then bring my ink, my uh, leaf in, and I can put a few leaves leaves okay there's one and hmm, I think I'll do one down here no nope. one over here Okay, and then we can take our little branch. The petit branche. Do I have a brown here? I have wild honey. It's going to do. Okay, and I'm going to use wild honey and have it over here. Just a little branch there and maybe one coming down down over here and I just put evergreen bow on there how's that for not covering your stamp your ink pad très professionnel but you knew what I wanted to put there okay vous savez exactement ce que j'ai voulu mettre là que j'ai pas fait maintenant je vais ajouter une autre petite fleur avec une couleur différent I am going to add picked raspberry just for a pop of color. And this little flower is going to go over 
here. So you see how you can keep building on here and just putting little pieces together. And once I have picked raspberry available, I am going to put a center in my flowers. Okay, donc voilà, je vais prendre le petit centre pour mon fleur ici. Là. And I'm going to use the same center. Je vais utiliser le même centre. Oui, c'est ça que j'ai dit. Une efface blanche sur les étampes ou un conditionneur de Altenew. Okay? So you see how you can just keep building? And this stamp set is going to go a long way. Okay? Because I can just add... Here we go. Voila. So, so look how pretty. And we can just keep adding. I love, love, love this set. Donc voilà. Ça c'est le ajout de Spellbinders de aujourd'hui. Moi je peux continuer à jouer, mais ça vous aide pas beaucoup parce que vous voulez voir qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans le Art by Marlene. So, je vais finir avec mon centre là. And, hey wow, I'm liking this, guys. I'm going to have to come back to this because I'm liking working with this. Je l'aime tellement. That's a foil background. Oh, I don't know. It was a pink fresh. And my mustard ink has a broken cover. Okay, guys. So I hope those of you who opened your spell binders enjoy this as much as I do. It is really, really a great stamp set, okay? So, I'm going to put that away. He went that away. Voilà. So, ça, c'est la deuxième de Spellbinders. Maintenant, c'est le temps pour la deuxième. Donc, a round of applause for Spellbinders today. Très bon, Spellbinders. Good job, Spellbinders. And... It's time for Art by Marlene. Donc, on est tout au même place avec Art by Marlene maintenant. On a le numéro 2. Puis, on va voir qu'est-ce qu'il y en a dedans. Maybe we'll have a stamp set in here too. Three, two, one. I hate when it tears the box. Oh, okay. I should have opened this one first. So we have an acrylic block. Un bloc acrylique. Donc, ça va nous dire que on va avoir des étampes bientôt. So she's giving us the base of the project first. Thank you, Marlene. And I'm sure as we progress, we will be finding things to put on this block. I'm just trying to see if there's a cover on here or if it's actually a glossy block. Has anybody noticed? Donc maintenant, on a un bloc acrylique. C'est un bon format parce que ça peut être utilisé avec toutes ces uh, beaux fleurs-là. So anybody know if this peels off or if I'm wasting my time. Yes, it is a nice size block. It's comfortable in your hand. I have small hands and it's still comfortable. So am I wasting my time, guys, or does this actually peel off? Does anybody know? Did anybody get it off? May, did you get it off? Because... 
All right. I think it comes off. So don't give up, guys. Be patient like me because it does look like it comes off. Okay. Donc, je vous souhaite tous un bon vendredi soir. Oublie pas que je vais être avec vous demain et dimanche à 4 heures pour ouvrir notre calendrier. Puis demain, si j'ai le temps, on va continuer avec Simon. Sinon, haha, haha, I did it on one side, haha. Um, Puis sinon, ça va être, uh, on va continuer Simon dimanche, si je peux pas continuer uh, samedi. So, whenever I can, I will do a little bit more with Simon's um, stamps and stencils. And I will try and challenge myself to do something with some of these cards and some of his new stamps. And I'm really liking these florals with spellbinders. So, maybe we should challenge whoever has them to make something pretty and put it on the site. Donc, merci. See you tomorrow, everybody. Oh, I won't, Leah. Uh, your secret's safe with me. And he was watching the comments, and now he just walked away, so I think you're good. Donc, bravo à les deux calendriers. À date, sont les deux merveilleux. So, to date, they are both great um, products and great calendars. Donc, à demain, tout le monde. Je te vois demain à 4 heures ici et euh, dimanche aussi, oublie pas. Pour le mois de décembre, je vais être avec vous chaque jour jusqu'à Noël. Donc, bye tout le monde. Bye. So, don't forget, I'm going to be with you every day now until Christmas to open our calendars. So, stay tuned. Bye, guys.